what's going on? It's me, KLV. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get some really easy credits really fast in Warframe. Now, farming credits is really easy to do. Personally, I don't like doing them all the time because it can get it can be really boring doing the method that I do, what is the highest method in a way. But we're going to go from a beginner to the end, what people, what my, my type will do, and uh, people like like they've been playing for quite a while will do. So we're going to go through the star chart. There's loads of ways on that making credits. So let's get through it. So when you are looking to get credits, now if you look at these, for example, these uh, ones here, you can get more credits from these ones. And I used to do Cobra a lot. You can get some credits from doing that. You can get a nice amount of credits, do it five ways, get a decent amount right there. Same with Mars, you can do the defense, Kadesh, and you then can get more, more stuff like that. It's going to be really easy. Just every single planet you want to do that is going over to the infested ones so for example this one you will get more credits on them missions than the infested now i don't exactly know how many but i know you get more so if you go like five waves on a defense or five minutes in the survival then leave you'll get a nice amount of credits really quick so then you want to do that and then when you get to neptune i believe it is neptune yes it is neptune the main thing that you want to do to get credits is index now the reason why index is this one right here so the high risk one really easy i'm going to show you the build that i use i can easily solo it but the potential profit is 200,000 and uh you return with 250,000 okay without a boost now, you do have to have 50,000 at the start so grind out credits i'm going to show you more ways and how to get credits in a minute so you need to have 50,000 if you win you get 250,000 with a boost you get 500,000 now personally what I do is I do two waves of this so that give me a million credits right there because I always have a 30 day booster on but I do need to get some more boosters talking about it. So I normally do two waves of this with people from my Twitch chat and then we'll keep doing that over and over. Now if DE, the developers of the game, put a booster on, if you have a booster as well on, so if they put a booster and you've got a booster on, that doubles. So it, so you'll get one million a wave. That's why in like region chat or something, you will see so many people wanting to do index. Really take advantage of this because it's really good because you get one million every wave, so that's two million. And let's talk about the other ways. So that's a really good method on getting money. Uh, you can, now, the another way you can do it to get really fast money is Pluto, okay? So, there is a mission on here, this mission right here, it is a really good mission, you, I believe you get 44,000 credits for doing an excavation, so if you do two, two waves of that, then dip, there you go, really quick money, best thing to do for really quick money if you want to just do the um, index. So now the next way on how to get credits is really easy. So now one thing you can either do, now I normally do this for endo, but I've been farming endo quite a lot recently, so I am okay with it. I don't mind, I can farm endo when I need to, I can get item treasures like mad. So what you can do is you can go to your duplicate mods and then sort it by duplicate again by here. Okay, now if it worked. Duplicate again. You see here all these duplicate mods. Now if you farm a lot, you will have a lot of these. And right there, there's 33,000. And you can keep doing this over and over. Now, I do recommend us doing it for endo. But if you're comfortable with the amount of endo that you've got, then it doesn't really matter. So, that is one method that you can do. But I normally, what I like to do is I like to save them for when I'm really low on credits. And I just need a li that little bit to get to do the index. So now, another way you can do is you can go to your equipment, your inventory. And then basically the same thing again. Now, I would like to just go to, I believe it is this one right here. And anything that you don't need, so ash, 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 ashes and systems. You can just sell these for credits as again. Obviously, doing the mods is more better. But anyway, let's show you the uh, Rhino build. So Rhino is the best to use in um, Index. I don't know why, he just, he basically is just, he, just, he has his iron skin, what makes him the best. And also, Inaris is a decent frame to use. I'll show you my Anaris build that I like to use. It's a very good frame to use Anaris. Uh, I used to use them all the time, and then I just started using my. Um, I started using my Rhino. 
So this is the build that I have, okay? One former, nice build for the Inaris. You have uh, Hunter Adrenaline, Stretch, Umbral Fiber, Primed Vigor, Umbral Vitality, Adaptation, and Gladiator Aegis. Really good build to use. Uh, I'll give it an, like an 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10 maybe on that build that you can use. Now, the Rhino build, probably the better, better one to use, to be honest. So, I believe it is this one we use right here. No, it's this one. It is this one. No, I think it is. It's one of these builds, but we're going to go through them. So we have, yeah, it is this one. It is this one. So we have Adaptation, Iron Shrapnel, Umbral Vitality, Umbral Fiber, Intensify, Streamline, Blind Rage, and also Iron Clad Charge. Now, I don't know why I have Iron. I have that tank on there. I didn't mean to have that on there. But I also have Arcane Guardian and Energizer that I normally like to use. And then on the other build, we have Narrow Minded Umbral Fiber, Umbral Intensify, Vitality, Streamline, Plan Rage, and Transit Fortitude. Now, with the back with the build, so you're probably looking at these augments, like what are these? So Iron Shrapnel is an augment that recasts an iron skin, will cause it to detonate the 100% of its remaining health as, as puncture damage and knocking down enemies. Now, I don't use it for that. I use it if I'm low on, um, like, if I have, like, two left, if I have two um, iron skin left, and I have enough energy, I'll recast it, then put it on again, just so I am really safe. Right, so you're probably wondering, what is these two augments that I have here? So I have Iron Shrapnel, but it's Iron Skin Augment. Re uh, recasting Iron Skin will detonate, dealing 100% of its remaining health, as puncture damage and knocking down enemies. Now this is really useful, now I mainly use this, just for like, say I'm really low on the actual Iron Skin, I will then recast it, only if I have enough energy though, I'll recast it so I'm safe. Now, I normally have Iron Skin, what gives me 5,000 Ferrite armor. It's not amazing, but it's a decent amount for index and obviously recasting it will make it more better. Now, Ironclad Charge is a really good one as well. So, Rhino, a charge augment. Each enemy hit increases Rhino's armor rating by 50% for 10 seconds. Now, obviously, that's on hit. Now, I'm going to show you this in the in the simulacrum in a minute but it is a really good build that you should use because you can get a lot of armor with this build so i'm going to see you in the simulacrum right so now i'm going to show you this build right now now i'm not mainly trying to be tanky but it basically i'm trying to be tanky as well but i'm going to show you on how the both of these augments do work so we're going to simulate some like level 90 enemies because i don't want to get like one shot basically instantly so I'm going to show you on how these two augments work. So you want to put the iron skin on, obviously, and then obviously they'll charge it. Uh, they'll charge it up. Now when you recast it or knock them down, then you can recast it again. Now obviously you got your iron charge. You not your iron charge. Your charge that can also make you basically. Now I don't know why I have adaptation on here. I think I believe it works. Does work with iron skin, and it is really good. So now what you want to do with this is you want to put your, get your ability out okay i messed up them because uh okay we're knocked down so what we're gonna do get enough energy now this build does lack on energy that's not a problem so if i want to form this i probably would put flow on uh, it would be nice if i can't get knocked down so you want to you want to you want to use your first while that is charging up and then while that charges up you can get a decent amount of 33k or right there 33k armor and it's going to be a very long time until I, actually, until I actually do kill me because I've got quite a lot of armor and obviously the iron charge does give more armor as well so it makes it really hard for them to kill me again so I'll show you one more time so I'm going to pop this off now and then we're going to pop this then and then we're going to go boom through them and then through them 32k armor again, nice amount. Now you can get, you can definitely get more. I'm going to try and get more. Now we'll show you on how you can get more. All right, so this time I have paused the AI just so that uh, we can get better. Um, we can go straight through these. So I'm going to show you right now. So we're going to pop it, go through them all, and that should give us a very nice amount of 17k. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but still either way it is still really good to use because obviously using it twice will then Obviously because it has like a combo counter to it now This probably wasn't the best map to use on this because they all just start flying But they have like a combo to it So if you do it once you get a decent amount do it again and you will get more 
Now I'll probably I should use a different map. But yeah, that's basically been it. It's not really been a Rhino build. I've basically been trying to tell you how to get money in the index, but Rhino build index is basically the best thing you want to do. So I had to show you the build for Rhino that I use. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And then yeah, peace out.